Good morning, beautiful people of the morning of the world. <laughs> I was gonna say good morning, beautiful people of the morning. <laughs> now, good morning, beautiful people of the world. How y'all doing? How y'all doing this morning, this day? I don't know if you're watching this in the morning, in the evening, at nighttime, the next day, the next day after that. But girl, it's chilly out here. I brought my other coat. I got on a light coat right now. I said, I don't know. I said, let me grab my other coat. Just in case it's a lot colder. This is only 34 degrees. I think I'm gonna have to put on my other coat, y'all. My other coat. Ooh-wee. It's, 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 it's nippy, as they say. Baby, it's nippy. Woo. All I can tell y'all is I ain't ready. I ain't ready for winter. No ma'am. No ham, no cheese. I'm not ready. I want to be here and be alive. But uh, I, 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 I can pass winter on by, baby. Yes, I could. Yes, I can. Oh, boy. So, it is Tuesday, October 31st. It's Halloween. I don't celebrate Halloween. Celebrate, celebrate. Y'all hold on a minute. Let me look around the corner, honey. Look around the corner. Because they got this dumpster still here. See that dumpster box is in the way, child. But I don't celebrate Halloween. However, I do like to watch or look at those that wear Halloween costumes. I think they are really, really cute. A lot of people went to Halloween parties this past weekend. You know, I told you all about the shootings all over the country in different states here in Chicago. 18 people were shot or something like that. And then last night, about 10.30 or so, Chris and I getting ready to go to bed. And we hear gunshots very, very close. I mean, they were shooting back back and forth at each other and Christopher came in my room I said boy let I said he all the lights was out in the apartment I said boy get down I was like get down I was like don't be coming in here I said you you know you need to wait you know because bullets come through windows because I found a bullet hole when they were redoing the windows in the data room there was a bullet hole in one of my data room windows and I live on the third floor okay so bullets you know, no matter if you low or high. So I told him, I said, you need to, you need to get down. So he came and he said, you hear that? I said, yes, I did. I heard that. So I told him, I said, um, you know, when you hear gunshots, don't move. You know, stay, stay wherever you are, you know. So, um, Anywho, uh, so he came in there and he, we heard the car speeding off and then maybe five or ten minutes later, here come all these police coming down, down the street. So somebody definitely got shot. Whether or not they got killed, I don't know because the ambulance then came and the fire department, you know, the paramedics. And they were on the block, the block that's up from me. And I'm like... Now, I'm going to say this. I love summer, but it seemed like in the winter, this mama here got a little bitty baby and another one walking baby. In this, when she's trying to get them where she needs to get them, child. I pray for mothers because with, where the daddy's at. But anyway, it's a whole other story. Um, and which I want to talk about that. I want to talk about my subject today is the war against women in today's society. I'm gonna talk about that. Let me get back to telling y'all what happened last night. So the fire department came, paramedics came, and I do believe this person was either shot or either killed. And they was out there for a while. So Chris was like, you think they did? I said, it's possible, you know, it's possible. So again, pray for the shot. I don't know if y'all watch the movie, The Shadow, come on HBO. 
I watched it a few times. Chris seems to like it. Ooh. Eyelash is giving me the flux. These are these eyelashes where they already have the glue on them and you just stick them on. This one giving me the flux. I'm going to have to take this one off. But anywho. Okay, yeah, you got to come off for a minute. I know I look crazy. Just ignore it. And just, just come on. Just ignore it. We'll talk about it later. But um, I'll put it back on when I get to where I'm at. I know I look a little crazy. But that's all right. Might be able to put it on once I get to this light. I don't know. But just work with me. Just work with me. Work with me. <laughs> work with me.
Now, I don't know if she had some type of facelift. Somebody said she had a BBL. I know she works out. She got booty and hips for days, okay? She thick, thicker than a snicker. She's a, I, I've always found her to be attractive. Not beautiful, but she's sexy and she's attractive. I love when she put on her high, thigh high boots. Girlfriend can rock boots, okay? I just love her. She just, to me, if I met her, I will just feel like I could hang out with her. You know what I'm saying? We the same age. We could just really, you know, be girlfriends. I find, I find her to be like my girlfriend through her music. That's how I feel about her, okay? I love her. And one day, I'm going to get to go see her in concert. I'm going to go. I had planned to go last summer, but the tickets were so freaking expensive. I just wasn't willing to pay $600 to go see her at um, the United Center here in Chicago and be cramped in them little seats. I get claustrophobic. So maybe if she comes somewhere else, you know, I'll get a chance to see her. But one of these days, I'm going to see my girl crush. I call it my girl crush, although I'm not a lesbian. But if I had, you know, my girl crush is Mary J. Blige, okay? I love her. So... I have recently seen her, I have recently seen people talk about her on the internet. And it pisses me off. One of the reasons why it pisses me off is because it's Mary. The second reason why it pisses me off is because I find it interesting how even women have a war against other women. And this war that we seem to have against women is that we seem to want to degrade women or talk about women's bodies or talk about, you know, um, we try to act like we don't body shame. And we do, okay? We do. I have done it myself, okay? But we try to act like we don't do it or, or, or as if body shaming is not real. It is, okay? From our hair to our lashes, to our makeup, to our our bodies, you know, whether we've had babies or not, so forth and so on. But what I find interesting it, interesting is when I hear so many women that are against other women. Now, when I say that I have body shame, this may not be in the same connotation of what I'm talking about. But I have seen and I see women in certain type of clothing and I have said out loud and to myself, you know you don't need that on. You don't have a body for that. That looks ridiculous. That's not for you. It's too short. It's too tight. So forth and so on. Okay. So now some people can say, well, that's not really body shame. And other people may think that it is. I don't know. It depends on how you view body shaming or what you think body shaming is. But let me tell you what I feel body shaming is. I feel body shaming is, is when you are constantly, constantly degrading or talking about a woman's appearance. Now, let me say this. I don't understand why women are talked about on every level more than men are. There's a video going around right now. And I don't know if I can put it up on YouTube or not. But there's a young lady who recently became impregnated by a guy who was her boyfriend. She lets him know that she's pregnant. And he tells her he don't want to have nothing to do with the baby. He don't want to have nothing to do with this pregnancy. And until he takes a DNA test, you know, he said, even if I take the DNA test, I won't have nothing to do with you. So somebody, one of my friends posted on Facebook, immediately, immediately, not just the men, because I expect that from men, but immediately the women went in, which she should have, which is true, which is true. She should have protected herself. We know that. I agree. I don't disagree on that. But it was almost as, moan. It was almost as if they was letting the man off the hook. You know, so it was like, okay, well, yeah, he, listen here. 
you have two consenting adults who had sex who both decided that they for whatever reason did not use birth control but a man gets off so much more easily when a pregnancy occurs and it's because we are not teaching young men like my son's age about the responsibility of what happens if you get somebody pregnant so what was interesting to me was that when Mary dropped this CD I saw all these men posting is that really Mary what did she do to herself she looked different da -da 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 -da. so as I went and I read the comments on people's posts on this is on Facebook the women was really dogging her you know some were some weren't but I would say more were dogging her than more was clapping for her we live in a society where when we get to be a certain age as a woman you're not considered beautiful anymore. We live in a certain society where if you decide as a woman that you don't want to have a baby or you do want to have a baby, you are wrong for that. We live in a society that says that sexiness is this and sexiness is that. And if you don't look like this and if you don't look like that, then you're not really considered sexy. So I'm in this Facebook group. I won't name the group that I'm in um, for obvious reasons, but I'm in a Facebook group. I really, I like this group and I don't like it. One of the things I like about it is that they're a tight knit group that seems like they enjoy each other's company. I don't go to any of the events too much that they have. I'm not really interested in um, being friends, making new friends or being around people um, like that. You all can call me weird or whatever, but I, I, people are something else and I'm not trying to uh, form new attachments with people at all. So, um, so I said all that to say that they always got something going on. I never attend, never and never will. Okay. It's just not. That ain't my thing. Um, <clears throat> let me get from around your ass. I don't know what you doing. So, um, in this group, I always see women talking about, I don't use no filters. I don't use no filters. This is just, this is me. I don't, I don't need no filters. Uh, some of y'all do need some filters. Okay. Some of them do. Whether you put a filter on your picture or not, I put filters on mine, okay? I don't put filters on mine because I'm trying to hide anything. I put filters on mine because I, me, I tend to look better, okay? I like the way a filter looks. That's just me. Do I take pictures sometimes without fil fil filters? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But if I'm filming a YouTube video and I'm gonna do a, um, a, know a banner or thumbnail I put a filter on my pictures okay it just depends so they in this group they talk about women they 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 deaf on women wearing makeup they always putting something up about a woman always and I'm like and what's interesting to me is that it's always the women that are the worst now you know, men. I, I, men. I, I've I've seen men that 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 go at women too. You know, it's just a war against us. It really, really is. Now, piggy piggying back on that, I was talking to my friend, uh, my classmate last night, Dorcel, and she was saying that she had watched my video yesterday of me talking about how um, I don't have that many female subscribers, and she was saying, "Well, you know." What do you think you could do to get more female subscribers? And I said nothing because women don't support women. It's that's just the truth. We don't. Women don't support women. I I am always always shouting women out on YouTube. If I find a new YouTube channel and it's a woman, 
whether she be black, white, Asian, Latino, Hispanic, whatever. If I think that this is a good channel with good content, I'm going to shout you out. Ask me, do I get the same? No, I don't. I do not. Now, do I need the same? Not necessarily for your subscribers to subscribe, but I need the same when it comes to just you supporting me. And it does not happen. I told my friend, my classmate, I said, I don't really know if I want a lot of women on this channel. Because I, my experience with women is that women are very very messy and the women some of the women that watch my youtube channel especially of the lingerie halls have been the nastiest and the meanest and the most have said the most disgusting comments to me and they were women black and white okay being a plus size woman it's not favorable in this society. It's not favorable, it never has been, and it never will be. I don't care how many of us pop up on YouTube and show you fashion and show you how to wear this or wear, wear that. We are not considered beautiful in society. So this takes me back to my issue about Mary J. Blige. Why is that such a big deal if she did have something done, a facelift? Men do it all the time. They do it all the time. You know, men get 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 uh, facelifts. They, uh, you know, they wear toupees. They uh, change their appearance all the time. And it's not a war against them like it is of women. That's what you get. See, karma is a motherfucker because you didn't stop at that stop sign back there. You almost ran me over. And now you get up here. You ain't went nowhere. We going to the same place. Okay? You ran that stop sign, which you could have caused an accident for me and you. And now you get up here and you thought you was going to turn. And this car jumped over in front of you. That's what you get. Anyway, y'all. Um, So... I'm just seeing a lot of people be, be talking about how she looks different. Now, she does look a little different on the picture. Because I had to do a double take, too, and say, sure, she look different. <laughs> she big mad now. Because that car didn't even turn. The car got back over. The car jumped in front of it. Made a miss, almost missed the light. Then went straight. Anyway, child. Um. So, I was like, yeah, you know, she does. She looks different. How You know, who well, he's so mad, y'all. In and out of cars, man. Um, I know it's a man. I'm sorry, not sorry. Because they drive the worst. But um, and you better slow down because it's a it's a deep curve going around this little road right here. And you will hit one of these light poles if you ain't paying attention. I mean it's a it's a deep curve when we get up here. And you are driving slow though. No, you scared to go around this curve, but you need to come on now, cuz okay, now I'm gonna have to go around you myself. Cuz you just you know you just you just you just going too slow. See this curve right here, y'all. See how I'm going around? It's deep right here, baby. It's deep. You got to be careful. Anywho, and then when you get right here, it comes to a certain certain stop to turn. It's crazy. You gotta be paying attention. So, sidebar, I feel like I'm getting a cold. Lord Jesus, I don't want no cold. Lord, help me. I really feel like I'm getting a cold. I need to work on this. I need to get me some tea. Um, what was I saying? See how I do? Anywho, oh, so, when I saw the picture of her, when I saw the picture same time every day, 6.31. When I saw the picture, I said to myself, well, she look, she do look different. Look, she looks like, that don't look, that kind of look like her, but don't look like her. But I watched the video. I watched the video. And on the video, it looked like Mary. And like I said, I know she work out. And she could have had a BBL. She could have had a, uh, uh, what's a BBL? But 
butt something something. I don't know. She could have had a tummy tuck or whatever. But Mary J Mary J Blige has never had any children, so her stomach is kind of you know her stomach is flat. But like I said, I know she work out. But look at this person. Look at this person. He was blowing at this car because this car was going to keep going. What is wrong with people? It, you know, oh, people are crazy. So, she does look different. But like I said, I know she works out because she's talked about having a personal trainer. She's talked about working out. She's never had any kids. Um, she don't have no stretch marks and nothing like that, like I said, because not to say that you can't have stretch marks just because you have children. I have stretch marks. I only had one child, but I, I don't have, my stretch marks aren't that bad, but I do have them. But I've seen women with stretch marks that did never had children and they just have them because they've gained and lost weight and their skin stretches. But I just, I'm just, um, I just get so tired. I get so tired of women always being talked about for how they look and how we just, we just, we will, we will dissect a woman like a pig, you know. But we don't do that to men. It's just, it's just interesting to me. That's all. It's just really interesting. Okay, Ruben. Flying out of there. He drive fast too. All right, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm back. You know what's interesting to me? I don't know a lot of these people that work here, right? But I always speak to everybody. I always say good morning. I say good morning to everybody. Not because I'm trying to be your friend. Not because I really care about you that much. But here's the deal. We're co-workers. We're co-workers, right? So if you co-workers with somebody, I'm gonna park right back here. If you co-workers with somebody you speak, these people here, they really don't want to speak. Some of them, not all of them, most of them I would say it's friendly. But you got some of them, they don't want to speak. And I'd be like, you gonna speak. Somebody would say something about partner right here. So it's this. So anywho. So yeah, I just find it to be like, you know, like I said, it's to me, it's just a war on women. And it's just sad because you know, no matter what a woman do, no matter what she do with her appearance or this or that or the other, we just always talk about women. This one went on perfect. This one is just acting a fool. Oh, 
I'm gonna put some, uh, I'm gonna put some glue on this one. This one don't wanna act right. So, if you haven't heard Mary J. Black's song, go check it out. It's a, it's a good song. I like it. I do, I like it. And, um, I like it. But like I said, she could sing the ABCs for me and I buy it. Like I said, I know a lot of people that don't like her. You know, whatever, that's your preference or whatever. That's understandable. Everybody ain't gonna like everybody. Like, I'm going to tell you, I can't stand Taylor Swift. I don't understand why she's such a, um, why she's so popular. I don't get it. I find her to have no talent. None. None. I know some of her songs because I've heard them. I'm not a big, big Beyonce fan. I like her. I like some of her music. Would I buy any of her music? No. Would I go see her in concert? Absolutely not. My sister's gone to see her. My niece is, that's her girl crush. She's been loving on Beyonce since she was little. I don't like her. I don't like her like that. I like her, but I don't like her like that. Um, I'm trying to think. I know a lot of people say, oh, Mary can't sing. Like I said, it ain't like I found her to be the most, you know, you know, most entertaining um, entertainer. But I like her, though. Like, would I spend my last dollar going to see her? No. So if you had, if you had to spend your last dollar to go see an entertainer, that's gonna be my question to you all. Who would it be? For me, it would have been Prince. If Prince was still living and I had, this was my last dollar. I mean, now don't get me wrong. I ain't gonna not pay my rent. Now I might not pay that light bill, but I ain't gonna not pay that rent just to go see Prince. But if, my, if, I, if I had, if I only had a dollar and they said, where would you spend this dollar on? to go see an entertainer. It definitely would have been Prince. When I was young, I thought I was gonna marry him. Yes, Lord, I thought I was gonna marry Prince. You talking about in love, child, child. My father almost killed me because I had that poster of Prince with the, um him standing in the shower with that uh, G, uh, G string on, that underwear. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, I had put that poster. I had put that poster in my room. Either it was over my bed on the, or on the side. I came home from school and that poster was gone. I said, what happened to my poster? He said, I got it. I said, what you doing with my poster? He said, I got it. I said, I want my poster back. He said, I got it. I said, Daddy, I want to hang my poster up. He said, you ain't hanging that one up. He said, you ain't hanging that one up. Remember Write On Magazine? You know, you can go in, you can pull the posters out or whatever. Well, this particular poster, one in Write On Magazine, this particular poster was in, um, this particular poster was in, um, was in some other book that he had out. I had all the Prince books, all of his books. And um, and I had took the poster out and I had posted it. He had another big poster, this big old poster of him. He had on like a red shirt or something. 
and I had that one on the closet door, the linen closet door that you would go in and get. My mama, we had a linen closet where you would go in and you would get your, you know, your towels, your bath towels and stuff like that. My father, <laughs> he was like, he was like, I got to, I got to, I can't even get a, get a damn towel. She got this damn poster up here. I had my room was filled with posters, baby. Yes, Lord. Yes. I love me some Prince. And I went to see Prince in concert three times in my lifetime. Three times. I remember that one concert I went to see him at, and I, 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 I will, I will say this. I'll take it to my grave. He was saying, "How come you don't call me anymore?" I had seats. I was like in the fifth row. He was up on the piano. How come you don't call me anymore? And he looked right in my face, girl. I fell out the chair. Do y'all hear me? I fell back. I started screaming. People around me was laughing. He looked me dead in my face. He turned his head. That was the only time that I saw him in concert that I was that close to him. I was, now I'm going to say this now. I don't know. Now I say I wouldn't spend my rent money. I, I might. <laughs> I might. Okay. Girl, I've been a Prince fan since he dropped that album when he was on the horse. Soft and Wet album. Me and my sister, we there was a record store in Chicago called um, Metro, um, Metro something, Metro City, Metro something, 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 something. And um, we walked up in that store, and they had a poster, a Size a standing poster of Prince. <laughs> I said, who is this? And I was, I'll never forget it. I had to be about 12 or 13 years old. And the man said, oh, this is a new artist that just came out. And he said, this is the album right here. I begged my mother. I didn't know if he could sing. I didn't care. He was fine to me. My mama said, I'm going to get it, whatever. So the, some man was looking at my mama. He said, well, you know, he said, Prince... Um, you know, he was like, Prince, um, he's like, he could be, you know, he could be a little, little, you know. And my mom said, okay. She was like, all right. And he's like, I'm just, you know, just, you know, just want to let you know, you know. And we took the album home and Soft and Wet came on. And my mother and father was like, what in the hell? And I was singing it. My sister was singing it. I don't even think we knew what we were singing. I fell in love with that song. I don't know all the other songs that was on that particular album, but the soft and wet singing it. My father said, he looked over at my mom. He said, what the hell? You went out and bought some damn album. He said, this, this, he was looking at her like, this ain't for them. I was a fan after that. I had Dove when Doves Cry, Do Me Baby. I was singing that. My father told me I could not sing Do Me Baby because I had to be about 14, 15 when that came out. It's like, you ain't singing that. Um, controversy. Uh, and the, my all-time favorite, 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 favorite song. And if, if, I, if I could get this on my playlist and buy it, I don't know if I can buy it because, you know, for a while, Prince... You know, you couldn't even get his music. You couldn't download. My favorite song by Prince is Adore You. Adore. Truly adore you. Woo! That's my song. Do you hear me? So, I'm trying to find a way to buy that song. If you know how I can buy it, let me know. That is my favorite Prince song. Favorite. Mm, mm, mm. Girl, 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 girl. It's my favorite. 
Oh, it's my favorite song. But anywho, y'all, I'm going to get on and get off of here. But I'm just going to say this to close this video out. I'm going to say this. You know, I talk about there's a war against women. Um, women, support other women. Okay? Support other women. Support other women in their business businesses support other women here on youtube support other women daily okay just support other women we need each other we really need each other and you know i i, I expect men to tear us down because that's what some men do not all men okay but that's what some men do but for women we need to stop tearing each other down. We need to stop talking about a woman in her makeup. I don't wear that mess on my face. It's somebody that I know says that all the time. I don't wear that mess. I don't wear that mess. Why is it mess? It's just makeup. You don't have to wear it. You know, but why demean and degrade people who do? Why, do you, why is that always a topic about makeup? Makeup. But you don't wear makeup, but you wear weave. You don't wear makeup, but... You get your eyebrows done. You get your out. You put out eyelashes. So isn't that a part of you trying to beautify yourself? So I'm not understanding what the issue is. Why? Why? You know, I don't wear that mess. I don't wear that mess. It's not mess. It's makeup. I've seen them in this group put up pictures of women who, um, you know, wear makeup, and they like they don't even that don't even boy that makeup just really changed her makeup can change or enhance it can it can bring out what you already have yes makeup does make you look better in my opinion some women wear makeup and it don't make them look better you know what i'm saying it just all depends but whatever reason people wear makeup maybe they have their self-conscious because i have dark spots so i wear concealer to cover my dark spot that's my my, my thing okay but leave women alone about them having surgeries, um, breast reduction, maybe because they, they back hurt or, or uh, want to enhance their breasts, have a breast lift. Some women have had a lot of children. They have breastfed. And gravity, I mean, it's just natural. But just, I mean, can we just stop having this war against women? And I'm saying this to women. I'm talking about women that's got a war against other women. Can you just please stop doing that and support another woman and stop being worried about what another woman is doing in her life. Stop worrying about what man she got or what man she don't have. Oh, how'd she get him? How'd she get him? How'd she get him? Don't worry. You ain't got him. So however way she got him, you ain't got him. But the jealousy that we have amongst each other is, is, is sickening to me. And then when we deal with other people having the same type of hate towards us, we have to wonder why. Because we don't support, we always in competition, always in competition. Support another woman, okay? Just do that. The movement, tomorrow is November 1st. For the month of November, from November to December 1st, support another woman in whatever capacity. Just support another woman. Stop talking about another woman and her makeup and her body and her what she's changed or what she has not changed. For the month of November, support another woman in whatever capacity that that might be. Let's do that. For one month, we have Women's Month in March, and I do a thing for that. But before we get to March, let's do it now. Let's do it now. All right, you all. Have a great Tuesday, and you know where I'll see you in the next CeCe's Fashion Is My Passion YouTube video. Bye.